so far, I think that everything's pretty much lived up to the expectations, but I think a lot has also changed since I've been here. Coming in as a freshman, there was, uh, there was always a reputation of Williams being a, a good academic and athletic lacrosse school, but not being the type of school that would compete with the middle areas or could compete and make it to the NCAAs. So I mean, coming in, I kind of expected to meet a bunch, a bunch of good guys that were good at lacrosse, but it was kind of a secondary thing. And then when I got there, I realized it was a little more intense than I thought it was. And the guys were you know, a little better. And then throughout the years, things just kept going up. I mean, we've gotten better and better players since I've been here. Freshman year, I, mean, I got more playing time than I thought I'd see. I figured it would be a, kind of an upperclassman run program where, where the younger guys have to kind of earn their, earn their dues and get in maybe as a sophomore or junior. And then, I don't know, it was just a lot, of, a lot of changes and a lot of, a lot of guys getting shots early. I know, I know Mo and, and a couple other guys were, were playing freshman year and it was just the type of place where I, don't know, I expected it to be a little more low-key and it turned out to be actually really, really cool because we, we were competing for you know, NESCAC tournaments and, and playing teams like Middlebury and playing them to close games. So these guys are really great. I, I didn't really get to know some of the defensive guys as well as I'd like to, but in general, our freshmen have always just been really talented and it's just kind of cool to see them you know, what they respond to Williams and Williams across as, especially in the, in the fall and the winter. I mean, most guys aren't ready to come in and play in snowstorms and 10 degree weather. So it's been, it's been fun to watch them this year. Most of the guys are just unbelievably hardworking guys. And everyone that comes to the program, everyone that I've met has always been a great, great guy and a great, you know, really coachable person. So that's been the easiest part of being a captain is that you don't have to deal with any, anyone who's gonna, you know, subvert you or anyone that's going to go out on their own or anyone that's going to think that they're owed more than they than they get so everyone's just been really humble and really great which is the best part the best part about being a captain you don't have to really go out of your way to try to convince guys that they should be you know committing themselves or they should be doing more most of them are doing it on their own mm -hmm. coach works unbelievably hard I've, I've noticed that that's one of the things that being a captain i noticed firsthand having to do football and lacrosse i think is real tough and the way he able you know juggles both and does recruiting and kind of gives it his all during the lacrosse season, I think is something that that's really admirable and also very tough. Just having to recruit for two sports alone is enough without being the, the head coach. So, I mean, Coach Kylie coming in has been a huge help for us. It's you know someone that coach can trust, someone that, that he leans on, and someone that does a great job with the program defensively. He's done a great job too, keeping up you know the high standards that our defense is normally normally held. So I think coaching staff-wise, we've been pretty lucky here. We've got two guys that are that are real dedicated. Uh, definitely all the all the little stuff like horsing around in the locker room, all the all the, the trips down to Florida or Colorado when we were freshmen. Uh, you know, freshman haircuts, little things like that that just uh, bring you closer to the guys on the team. And one of the biggest things I'll miss is just the competition because there was not a single game where you went in that was you know a guaranteed win or a guaranteed loss. It was just unbelievable how competitive every game was and how everyone was just selling out every game. And no matter who you were playing, you wanted to get out there and, and, and win no matter what. That's one of the things I'll probably miss the most, just the competitiveness. I would tell them that, you know, keep up what they're doing. The whole, the whole trajectory of the program has been improving and, and we've been competing with teams that we never used to compete against, you know, five, six years ago. I don't think anyone would have told you that we would have been able to beat Middlebury or get a NESCAC championship or compete against the number one team the way we have this year and, and just the whole confidence issue. They all have confidence and the talent and it's just about keeping up the hard work because I mean, I've seen them do amazing things and I know that they're capable of it and they know they're capable of it. No one's coming into the, the Williams program now saying you know, we can only beat these teams, we can only, only go so far and our season's going to be done first round in the NESCACs. I mean, now there's just the belief that we can win an SCAC every year, and that's just unbelievable. That's a great, great feeling to be a part of, and I, all the freshmen and all the, the sophomores know that, and I think they'll keep that going, which is one of the, the reasons that we're going to succeed now and in the future. Well, so my first time on the field as a freshman was, I remember very well, uh, was Con College. We uh, were kind of having, we were in a bit of a rut my freshman year, and uh, it's funny actually. We had a guy in here doing a video with the team, same kind of thing uh, for the website. That's the uh, the famous Winchester Mass video, <laughs> and uh, and uh, that was my first game starting. So, you know, I was nervous about it, and they, of course, were catching everything on film too. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, I remember. I mean, we won the game, and um, 
that stretch right after that we had Wesleyan, which was, you know, I, now that we we've, we've improved as a program, I don't know how big that win was, but at the time that was, you know, the biggest win for us as a program. Wesleyan was a, you know, top five team in the country, and um, that was just huge for us to, to win that game 11-10 on our home field. It was, uh, and we just squeaked it out there mm -hmm. too. Uh, that, that was really, that was awesome. And um, and then we had Middlebury next game, we played them tight. You know, I think we lost by three or four goals. And um, yeah, so, you know, my seniors, my, my freshman season went by real quick. And, uh, but it was great to, to get in and it was exciting. And then, uh, you know, every season kind of flies by. You're a sophomore and you, uh, you know, you're still young and no one expects that much out of you, I guess. And uh, you're, you play like you've got you know, forever left, and then next thing you know, you're a junior, and that's your you know your big season. And then senior year, it's you got nothing left. So it's uh, you know it flies by. I don't know. Um, so I mean, I was getting recruited to some good schools. Obviously, you know, mostly D3 schools. And I looked at a few Division One schools, and uh, yeah, you get this idea in your head that it's you know Division Three is here, and high school is here, and then D1 is you know all the way up top, and. Uh, you find out really quickly that you were pretty far off. Uh, the The difference between high school and college was tremendous. I mean, you know, I don't, I barely touched a weight my entire high school experience, and uh, you know, the the amount of the commitment that we had to make to the team, and the amount of time we put in in the off season and during the season in the film and the weight room, uh, was just, you know. A, a world away from what it was in high school, and, and I think probably not that far off from from Division One. I. I mean, this was you get here, and every single guy was a stud at his high school program, you know. And uh, the the quality is just really intense, and the tempo, the intensity is really high. And you know, uh, Coach McCormick does a great job of really kind of cultivating that competitive atmosphere, and uh, everything is just high intensity all the time. And it's uh, it's fun, it's exciting, it's really it's competitive, and it's it's the only way to play really, it's, I, I think. And uh, it was it was better than I expected. I would say absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, sports in general has just been a part of my life since, you know, I was since I could walk, since mm -hmm. I could skate, really. Uh, and um, I absolutely think it's shaped my life. I mean, for me, and especially in in college, just uh, you. I, I mean, I think you just have a sense of responsibility that you don't have otherwise. Something that you to have a loyalty to a group of guys who you know you really care about and who you're really friends with, um, that's that's something that you don't really get outside of sports. And I think that that teaches you a lot about responsibility, responsibility and loyalty. And and then in games on the field, I think it just teaches you mental toughness. I mean, th the biggest thing for me that I've learned from being on the field, and especially at Williams, um, is just yeah how to make things happen. I mean, you just, you make it work. That's part of being mentally tough, no matter what's going on. There's, you know, at the end of the day, there's the scoreboard and that's all that matters. You know, that's mm -hmm. just, no one, no one wants to hear any excuses out of you, you know? Mm -hmm. And that definitely carries over to, you know, the classroom or whatever else in your life. And, uh, um, I think at Williams, especially, I mean, in, in high school, it wasn't quite the same competitiveness. And I think, uh, being at Williams College and playing in the NESCAC, making every game so competitive, um, really teaches you mental toughness because you can't you can't take a playoff and uh, in practice and games anything off season. Yeah, that's I love that stuff. That's uh, that's the best. I that's something I never experienced in high school. You know, uh, not that you know this is the Coliseum or anything, but uh, you know we didn't get that many fans in high school. And we definitely got more at games here, and uh, you know having rowdy college fans on the sidelines the best. Uh, you know whether they're for you or against you. It's just it's awesome to have that kind of excitement, and uh, I, I I definitely enjoy. I thrived on you know having people trash talk me and on the sideline. I love that stuff. That's that's the best. Cause you know I mean, they're not talking trash to people on the field. You know to people who aren't doing well. You know you know you're doing something right if they're if they're trash talking you. So. Uh, yeah, that's great. You just gotta gotta take it all in and enjoy it. I think. I, get, I mean, it's just a great group of guys. I, the uh, the thing about Williams in general, but I think especially on lacrosse team, is it's just you know as intense as we are on the field and you know in everything that we do, it's uh, it's a really laid back group of guys and it's guys who are really accepting and humble and just uh, and who are you know who are good friends and good teammates and uh, yeah, being captain. I mean, 
I you know I couldn't be uh, more honored to to lead that you know that group of guys such such awesome teammates that you know they selected me to be a captain is I think great and I mean the truth is you know I didn't there wasn't a lot for me to do I think we had a pretty good team and a, a good core of guys and there were a lot of leaders on the team who uh, who really stepped up and um, you know <laughs> it was uh, yeah it was fun. To next year's team, um, I mean, just keep up the hard work and just be confident. I mean, they have all the talent in the world, and Coach McCormick does a great job of bringing in guys every year. And uh, if they if they work hard and, and live up to their potential, they can they can do anything they want. And uh, just have pride in the program. I mean, you you play for Williams; it's the best place to play in the world. And uh, since I've I've come here, we've become a team that we can compete with anyone in the country and every time we step on the field you know we know that we should win that game if we if we do what we need to do and so just if we believe that and we and we put the work in that we need to you know we can we can go places